What is up guys, Mike Chimamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 35 of my Gothic 3 playthrough, The Path of Adenos. Now before I'm gonna load and actually gonna continue, let me explain something that occurred to me. I was searching for a Larson about four times in one of the same recordings as this one although this one is going to be the correct one so I had to delete all the other ones um, but it took me an hour and a half to two hours to find and locate Larson now he has a beginning point which is the wolf clan I googled it and um, couldn't find him at the, his hut at the smithy so I googled something else I went to continue searching on the forums etc you know and uh, I found his end location I went to his end location he was not there then I searched a YouTube video where a guy shows you uh, the path that he walks but then I figured out um, that he wasn't anywhere near the road anywhere near the location or anywhere that the video was showing that this road he takes by the woodcutters and whatnot, you know. Um, so it took me another 30 minutes to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, I'm not sure. Um, but in total, about an hour and a half to two hours to figure out how to change, uh, well, how to activate console commands, well, console commands. Um, as well as how to teleport to certain people, let's say if you can't find them. I found where Larson has got into and was a totally different path than that video showed me, which was the only video actually on a Gothic 3 on how to locate Larson. Only for that guy, he was standing next to the hut. Apparently, as soon as you get the quest for finding the smiths, getting their approval for the pure magic ore um, skill capabilities <laughs> as soon as you get that quest Larson is going to start walking towards his end destination where you will find a large amount of ore um, he will not be teleported there he will literally walk to there now let me go into the game because I figured out where he walks, I know which path he takes due to uh, command commands, console commands. I have it disabled again so I can't teleport to him but I will make sure that in the description or in the comment section, it depends on how long this video is going to be, you know, um, to make sure that if you're searching for someone and you can find that particular person like Lauren Lanson Larson whatever his name was I think Larson or Sean you know if you can't find them type in go to and then the character NPC name however I tried you know since I had it activated I was like hmm, let me try and see if I can find Sean he's nowhere to be found I think he died or something um, but he's nowhere to be found <laughs> but I will make sure that um, in the description down below of this particular video you will guys have the potential of knowing exactly on how to get this fixed should you need to find him <coughs> so without further ado guys let's begin and on as always loading screens and such you know make sure to check the description for that as well due to the time links it will help you skip the loading screens the conversations that you don't want to hear like me explaining how I google things you know just to figure out where this booker was but the reason I had to do it is because of the fact that pure magic or smithing is a, a must have for at least two playthroughs the mercenary and the servant of Enos also known as Adenos and Enos Balear is optional but Enos and Adenos for certain. I also want to do it on Balear, so in my case all three paths, but you know, should you want to search for him, just type in uh, go to 
and then Larson or Sean or Gorn or Milton or Diego and you will be teleported straight to that NPC unless he is dead so without further ado guys for real this time and let's continue now this will take a bit of time the loading screen normally I start pressing record as soon as the loading screen is nearly full especially in the beginning of the episode but I had to make sure that this is noted to you guys you know so that you guys know one I googled two I used command codes to figure out where to find this bugger um, because it is important for my specific character to have these capabilities as well it is a quest so it might not only help me also someone else in the future who knows but I'll make sure it's noted in either the video description or in the in the you know comment section below um, so that you guys know exactly how to get to the ini file what to change and how to activate console commands how to teleport certain things I'm not gonna post that you know the entire command keys that you can do like uh, getting yourself the ancestor sword or something like that I'm not gonna do that I will only note it for teleportation because um, the item list was relatively easy to find you know um, but the teleportation to NPCs was really hard for me to find um, maybe I googled it wrong or something I don't know but I had to go to German you know German forums Polish forums Russian forums and eventually I found one in an English forum um, well at least it was translated in English but I found it and uh, I'll make sure it is noted down below so you guys know exactly what to do if things like this happen like NPCs vanishing into thin air when it comes to Gothic 3 I'm not proud of it and I admit that deeply but it was absolutely necessary now the guy that showed the video took the straight path towards the woodcutters and then past the woodcutters that is the route that he takes if you talk with him next to his hut at the wolf clan that is not his original route though um, which was one of the things that took me quite some time to figure out on um, which route he exactly take um, in order to get to his secret stash and whatnot, but uh, I do know now a bit, not entirely, but I know which direction he goes to. Because be of course before I started to record, I double checked just to make sure that he's actually walking the same path, and he is. Fortunately. So this is the path that he actually takes in order to get to his secret stash location. Um, so like I said again, there he is. I will make sure that it is noted in the description and uh, just follow this video and you will find him and if not I will make sure there will be a link as well to the uh, other guides video maybe or something like that you know or show the other route but I found him for now How which did you good. find me? I followed my nose. You did huh? And what do you want? Ingvar sent me to seek out all of the smelters and learn from them. He did? I've got no time to teach you anything. I'm searching for something myself. What is it that you're looking for? Pure ore. Many nights ago I dreamed of a cave full of pure ore. You're going on a quest because of a dream? Why else should a man go on a quest? Why don't we go together? You don't even know where I'm going, and yet you want to come? That's what I call plucky. I like it. Fine. You can come. Just make sure you don't die. Will do. Um, as soon as I, you know, found his location together with him and complete his quest, I will show you the route that I saw through YouTube. It's gonna be a couple of minutes of extra footage, which is 
kinda unnecessary, but uh, that route will show you the second possibility that he takes because it could be that he just thought I'm gonna take this route instead of this route could be if that is the case or both the routes will be shown but first I will go with him to his uh, final location to make sure that he ends up there you know um, and then I will show you also where some other forums said he would, uh, would where he would have been which is relatively close to where he originally goes to um, but that is on the second pass pass basically um, but I found him for now with the help of command codes indeed and I'm not lying about it because I'm a man that tells the truth guys it's not about the fact whether you cheat it's why do you cheat you know I do not cheat to resurrect myself I cheat in order to find certain things that normally is insignificant now Sean you know is ins insignificant to this particular guy so should I lose him with the rebel camp or well with the rebel path then I can use this method to relocate him if he didn't die um, but you know that's for them to see whether that works or not when I tried to teleport to Sean with this one couldn't was not able to find the bugger so um, less. So this is also a road that he takes differently from the guy in the video. Well, you know, that's alright, I will show both. These damn beasts are everywhere now! <laughs> One filthy beast less. Whatever I can do to make guys, well, to make for you guys good content as well as good tips and tricks on how to get certain things done. I'll do it any day. Should you want a video, you know, specifically on how to change the ini file, which shouldn't be that hard, but if you couldn't find, figure it out, um, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, I'll make sure to make a video of it. If it's requested enough, that is, you know. Because uh, this channel is mainly on um, gameplay, not fixes and whatnot. I could make a check secondary channel for that for those purposes you know um, like how to get gothic 1 installed on steam gothic 2 uh, you know community, uh, community patch and whatnot but rather not you know but I could if you guys want want it I'll deliver or you have passed your test. Go back to Ingvar and tell him I believe you will make a skilled ore smelter. Alright, so let me take the ore. And then I will show you guys the secondary route. So that if you guys don't want to use the teleportation technique, you can still you know use this video to see which of the two paths did he take and to figure out how to get him and find him alright so let me put this guy to sleep
the other two smiths are relatively easy. Pardar I already had done, and uh, the one from the fire clan I still need. Alright. Let me teleport back to the wolf clan, and then I'll show you route number two. Uh, wolf clan. What was that? This will take a couple of extra minutes, you know, so should you guys want to skip it, check the, uh, the uh, time description, well, the description of the video and use the timestamps to your heart's content, because they will not be public if the timestamps are not completed. So, alright, so let's go to the secondary route. Now, with me, he took that route. But you can also take this route. It's kind of pointless to do, but could be helpful for you guys, you know. So why the hell not? really take this part? Start, I'm starting to doubt, one second. How did you take this route? This route. Also take the route by the uh, by the um, woodcutter's hut, but so far he hasn't taken that route with me yet. So should that be the case, I'll let you know in a different video. But I'm now just showing you the which you know the road that I saw on YouTube, and uh, I showed you the route that he took for me. You know. <coughs> Now this is the location of the hidden ore, um, it's some sort of a hidden quest, I already have it. things along the way, you know, get some XP, I still need to level up a bit. And 
then take this route. Now, one of the forums said that he would be sitting near this campfire over here, uh, which I can recall from years back, but that was also not the case for me, you know. But he could sit here, take a break or something, I don't know. But uh, we'll go up here, and then the same route as the rest, you know. So technically speaking, all points leads to uh, the same spot. And just make sure you either use fireball or bow, crossbow to check your environment, you know, along the path to make sure that you can find him. And then simply go up here and go up there and you will have his location. If he's not there, backtrack, you know, or use the teleportation method through console commands. Alright, so let's get the other one. Um, the fire clan. Now the smithy of the fire clan is relatively easy to find. The only thing is he's under attack. So he could die and if he dies you fail the quest automatically and thus you cannot get his approval and uh, thus you will not be allowed to learn the proper skill of as forging a magic ore weapon. Damages always. Go back now. All right, so I saved him. Let's talk with him. Now, normally this area is blocked with uh, stones and such. Um, this is the same area when, where the fat man with me got stuck, you know. So he should be free now and be able to walk back to uh, the fire clan, which is good. Thanks. You saved my butt. I thought they were going to wring my neck. No hard feelings. I want to learn the ancient art of forging. Ingvar sent me. I need the approval of all smelters. I hid my steel hammer in the bushes, not far from here. Find it, and you may keep it. And you can tell Ingvar that I think he couldn't find a better apprentice. Right, so that were the quests, so let me see. Nothing to be had there. 
Nothing to be had, nothing more to be had there, nothing to be had there. Just make the normal show. Now let's get his hammer because you need it in order to complete the quest. Which is right over here. Right, so let's teleport to once again the wolf clan. And sell some of my loot so I can get a bit of gold. Show me your goods. Nineteen thousand. Show me your goods. I could get the armors, but I'm not entirely sure yet which armor I get for free for uh, delivering the iron ore, well, magic ore. Oh, he can't afford it. So let's go to uh, the Hammer Clan. Let me see. Stenyar. To find this Stenyar for his own 100 ore. Magic ore, that is. Now, tunnel. Tunnel Rumbler, you need uh, 200 endurance for that. I don't have that yet. Um, I don't think I will be able to get that, but. You know, if I have learning points left, I will invest into them. But uh, 10 levels in order to get it to 200. Well, actually 20. To make it even worse. So I will keep that one at least for uh, my rebel. My rebel will have the endurance capability. Since he will join Enos. And uh, Enos's power is endurance. Here is your ore. Fine. Here is your armor. I hope it fits. You're not very big. See the light. Show me your goods. So I got the light version. Mm, where is it? As you can see, like Marian armor. For these two, it will cost me 165,600 pieces of gold. I can afford it easily, um, but let me sell all the stuff that I don't need to make it even cheaper. Now all these armors are pure for collection. I still need two, two Nomad armors and these two. And then I got all the sets ex except for Ranger, but uh, that will be for the Hashishin slash Rebel since this guy's a druid. You know, that mistake was made, but it's no big deal. that one anymore since I have auto regeneration. keep the shadow beast on for now just in case I need them so I've got those not marine armors now as well so only the nomad armors remains all right so let's go to Ingvar What 
The other smelters all approve of me. It's decided then. I shall teach you. Teach me something about being a smith. Show me how to forge a pure magic ore weapon. For a blade of pure ore, you have to develop a feeling. Only use raw materials that seem right to you. Start your work when you have quiet, and handle the blank with care. When the flames begin to dance on the ore, it is hot enough. Then, form the ore on the anvil according to your desire. Show me your goods. Now, do you have... Do I already have that one? I think I do, but... Right, so let me craft a regular one and uh, see if I can also make a pure one at the smelter that is. To, diff to uh, you know, 115. Not as good as this one. But certainly more beautiful. And I can make use of the poison. I'm not gonna do that yet. Let me first check if I can make a pure ore version. as well as uh, destroy uh, the artifacts so that means I will lose this helmet but that's fine it is the will of Adonis We'll talk later. Let's boot both of these buggers to sleep. I still need the blueprint though. Where could I get the blueprint? Oh, that doesn't really matter for now. Still have the crown of Miritana. Don't know how I got that one, but okay.
crown into ground. Right, so let me teleport to Zardas. First save, just in case it will finish the game. I don't think that it will. First I have to kill uh, Zubin, if I remember correctly. But uh, never can be uncertain. The artifacts are destroyed. It is done. You have decided. What's the rest of your plan? We will remove the remaining divine power from this world. Even I cannot say where this path will take us. But one thing is certain. There is no going back. What about your power? I too bear the power of the gods in me. And this power also must be taken from our world. And how do you think we can do that? When it is time, we will leave the world and go to the Unknown Land. What is the Unknown Land? No one knows. There is a portal far to the west, yet no one has been able to open it. I'll take care of it. The Scepter of Varent and the Staff of the Eternal Wanderer will open the portal. Both are of great power, artifacts which we cannot destroy. We will take them? Indeed. If we wish to finish what we have begun, we will go together. We will leave this world, and the War of the Gods will be no more. What else needs to be done? King Robar and Zubin are the chosen of Enos and Beliar. Therefore, they also bear divine power. They are obedient servants, little more than marionettes in a war they do not understand. I'm sure they won't surrender their power willingly. Probably not. But if we want to free the world, they must do exactly that. Talk to them, if they will listen to you at all. And see to it that their power vanishes from the face of this world. I'll see what I can do. The king is dead. That fool. He never would have been prepared to leave this world voluntarily. But his power is banished, and Enos is weakened. I have the scepter of Verret. Guard it well. We will need it later. Okay. To the desert we go, my brothers. But first, let me report into Khan. See if that's possible. Oh, I took the crown, of course, from King Robar II, of course. I don't think Khan has anything to say, but let's make doubly share. We'll see what happens. I do not deserve to rule this land. We left our homeland but to found no a new world. kingdom here. Nope. Do you know why we won the war? Because the Moras are weak. They do not deserve to rule this mm. land. We left our homeland to found a new kingdom here. Soon the last Shire Moras can't find the last one. So and screw it. Can't will reign over this land. The few Moras who know what honor means will be assigned not a kill place that they Grandpa the shaman. But for the cowardly the rebels, there will be just quest no for that mercy. They are not like the warriors of Can't do that one yet. Who have always faced us Can't do that one yet. Can't do that one yet. They must trade underfoot. 
Only when the last of these cowardly moras is dead can we find our peace here. To the desert this we go and liberate. We belong to the orcs for all time. What are you waiting for? Do you know why we won the war? Because the moras are weak. They do not deserve to rule this land. to be careful not to get interrupted by the leader show me your goods otherwise they will instantly attack all right I sold everything never mind Diego still isn't here let's go to Azaru I'm trying to Google, you know, if uh, there are magic ore blanks, pure magic ore blanks or blueprints at any rate. And uh, that is not the case. All that trouble to get pure magic weapons, and it's not possible. Yeah, that makes sense. So, if you guys know somewhere where you can find your magic or weapon blueprints just let me know because uh, according to the forums there are none which is lame I'll only get Azuru ready and then I will quickly teleport to uh, Geldern to learn the mastery of the thieving Except for lockpicking of course I still need uh, I've got 92 so that's 8 for thieving plus 10 is 18 34 minus 18 26 16 left so that's about three I don't know spell scrolls and I still need four so we are almost done um, we'll be able to level I think uh, I'm totally going into the wrong direction, but uh, I will be able to level relatively soon, I hope. Nah, not that close, but uh, yeah, all that hard work, guys, for nothing. All that trouble of finding that, what was his name again, Larson? All basically for nothing, because there are no blueprints in Gothic 3. Unless you cheat, of course, you know, console commands. Like always. They are implanted, but not added. Damn you, Parana, and damn you, Jude. S still, I learned how to craft one. Well, I know how to craft one, but only need a blueprint for it and so far not so lucky so let's see what uh, the water mage over here can teach me Could be that only as a you know servant of Enos or something that you only get a blessed pure blessed weapon. But according to the forum there are no blueprints. Which is uh how should I say lame? But at least this sword is more beautiful than my last sword, and I had that sword for decades. 
So even though the, the damage is less, really doesn't matter. Let me add poison to it. The liberation starts in the next episode, but just making final preparations, like sending them there and uh, talking with my good friend here. See what you can teach me. Teach me something about ancient magic. No ancient magic. Open locks, time bubble, and hailstorm. Who can teach me ice explosion then? Medarian, maybe. Sometimes a fight can't be avoided. Now you have the weapons you need. You bear a great power. Use it for the good of the world. You bear a great power. Use it for the good of the world. Alright, so... Who of these guys? Show me your goods. You're all right. You're all right. 103,000. I have that and still have gold left. Who would have thought? So my armor completion. Well, my ar armor collection is complete except for the ranger's outfit. But that will be for those of the Ring of Water. We've got the Orc Commander outfit. We've got the heavy Nordmarin outfit. The heavy orc mercenary. The heavy nomad robe. The medium Nordmarin armor. You've probably seen them all in game, but just to show the collection makes it uh, useful well worthy of being having collected and paid so much gold for through the rope you guys already know a light armor as well. So uh, my armor collection is complete. Alright, so uh, let's teleport quickly. Oh wait. Isla is back in Braga. Excellent. This means that Nafalem will be feeling quite safe. Now help us with the other preparations for the attack on Braga. I am ready to attack Braga. Fine. Here's the plan. We are leaving now for the Field of Ruins. You can come with us or choose your own path. We are going to meet you there. And then we attack. Alright, so let me set up Time Bubble as well as Hailstorm. As well as Opening Locks. Let me quickly go to uh, Geldon and then finish the episode and start deliberating of Varen in the next. Including Ishtar. I'll tear your head off. I'll tear your head off. Yeah. Stop right there, Mora. Don't let up. Ah. Oh. 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 You showed hey. him. I beat the crap out of him. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Well, save me from killing them.
Where's Loris? Teach me something about thievery. You aren't ready for that. That's the way. Good. That's the way. Carry on like that. I want to be a master thief. Where's the voice? Now I'm not gonna learn that. The other one wasn't as mistakeable. Where can I learn murder? I think in Ishtar. If that is the case, I can't get it. So uh, let me quickly uh, check Google. Just give me a few minutes. Yup. Murder is apparently for the Hashishin only. Um, well, at least you need to get access to the temples of Ishtar. And uh, since this guy supports the Water Mage, uh, that's not gonna happen. So this, the thieving skill has been maxed, except for this one, this was uh, one too many spend it. Um, then I have five learning points left to learn. Where is Morasul? To learn um, Ice Explosion. And after that, we're done. And uh, well, we have to liberate the city first, Paul. The cities of Ishtar and uh, get Zuin's artifact. But I still have 163,000 pieces of gold, GG. Let me see what Time Bubble does. Oh, I love Time Bubble. It slows time within the battlefield itself. Which is very powerful. So first I would do, you know, time bubble and then hailstorm. GG. Taking over the cities will be child's play. So I don't really have to level anymore. Which means there's no need to kill critters. But uh, I still get some learning points for liberating the cities of the Varand. But I have to do so, so, you know, otherwise I can't go with Sardis into the mountains. make this blade sharper which will add ten, 10 more damage almost done guys I only need Madarian 
if I'm correct, before ice explosion. And uh, then I'm ready to uh, liberate th the areas of Varent, including Ishtar. It's time to attack Mora Sul. Yes, that's right. Let's put an end to the slave drivers. Follow me to town. We'll meet outside the gates of Mora Sul. Will do. Teach me something about ancient magic. He doesn't have ice explosion. Oh, let me Google quickly. I don't like to Google stuff, but uh, at the moment it is nearly done to, you know, finish the game and thus go to Forsaken Gods. So I want to go through this as fast as possible so I can continue with Forsaken Gods as soon as possible. Nefarious. Where was Nefarious again? Mages at Al Shadim is Saturus and Mixia. Fatras it is at the Oasis ish, you know, with uh, one of the uh, Druids. Nefarious. Where was that booger again? Various. Let me quickly check the Temple of Al Shadim, but I'm pretty sure that was not the location. Uh, Temple of Al Shadim. Because this was Saturus and Mixia, if I'm correctly. Teach me something about ancient magic. I have destroyed the artifacts of Adenos. You did what? Does that mean that the artifacts are lost forever? Exactly that. Then the war of the gods will not be decided in favor of Enos or Beliar. Exactly. That was well done. I always knew that you could be counted on, but it still isn't over. Now, we'll see if you are strong enough to finish your work. If you want, I will give you my blessing. North of Varent. Yeah, well, that doesn't help me at all. So in the direction of Ishtar then, I think, 
I don't know these forums are not really that helpful. Maybe Mix here can teach me. Teach me something about alchemy. Teach me something about ancient magic. Well, I will just see next episode because uh, I'm getting out of time. So let me save here and uh, thank you guys for watching it again, you know. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Feel free uh, to subscribe, to comment, both positive or negative. And if you subscribe, hit the notification. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up behind to unlock a hardcore run. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna liberate desert city of Varent. Well, we're gonna liberate Braga, Benurai, Bensala, Bakaresh, and Ishtar. So, uh, see you guys in the next episode. Nearly at the end. So, uh, see you guys next time.